uh, hi in this video we are going to see how to execute data wave code in visual studio code so we have a vs code here which i just uh, opened it here we are going to run some of the data wave coding so how do we do it so you have to install the extension for it so you just mouse over in the left side navigation and you just click this extension icon so once you click that you here you search data wave and uh, once you search data wave so there is a option or the extension is coming here where you just click install here so it will be quickly installed see here it's installed and you have option to disable and also uninstall it so as it is installed we are going to create some data wave coding now so what will i do so you just go to the as it is installed you just go to the view and open the command palette and here you just search data wave and here you just click data wave create new library project and then i'll just give this value the default and i'm entering it and also i'm just giving some name and uh, whatever it's coming i'm just giving a enter and uh, i'm allowing that value to default and also it's asking where i wanted to install that particular or where i want to store that data wave coding for that uh, i'm just choosing this folder okay i'll just click okay so now everything is done do you want, want to open new project in new window it's asking so if i uh, if i give yes right then it will open a new window so i'll just give no so it is opening in the same window itself see here our folder got created with the example project and also the file name with my module.dwl created so there's a sample code here for example if you wanted to run this also you can run it for example if you see here there is a function called hello world and it's just printing a object so the object has a one field called called hello and the value of that particular field is world so now if i wanted to print that right so what we'll do we'll put the three these three hyphen and then we will write our uh, coding right or whatever we wanted to come and uh, print it in our payload so i'll just simply call this uh, hello world and then i'll put it here so that the hello world result will come i just did a control s to save it and you just come right top there is a data wave run preview you just click that button and once you click the button right and uh, you'll be able to see the output will be coming in the right side and also you can do what you can do is you, there will be enable auto preview once you have executed it then you will be able to see the results in the output in a real time so i'll just go to the output uh, click output tab and i'll just click this button okay this is a separate or uh, if you wanted to open multiple window right you can click this one i'll just close this one and there's a run without debugging also there so if you click that also it will run and uh, here if you now the option got enabled so i'll just click that one that blue button and what it says yeah so if you see here the preview output is coming in the right side so our method it is uh, i'm calling a method from here so which is printing this hello world similarly you can um, for example uh, i just uh, show you i'll put world one here and i'll save it so it's not reflecting auto reflecting here and if you wanted to give a result immediately right so this enable auto preview also you can select it so that it will reflect immediately see here the value is getting reflected now so here i just call the function right similarly you can have anything right for example if you have your own payload right and uh, see here the output is coming immediately in the right side so where i wanted to say uh, test and colon and value is one two three then immediately the values are coming in the right side so this is the way you have to execute your data wave coding in vs code or visual studio code thank you for watching uh, hi thank you for watching this video so far if you like the video please share it with your friends and also subscribe to this tech lightning channel thank you bye bye